And welcome back. Thank you, Cam, to AM Live. And we're talking to Miss Lori Webb this morning. And we're going to be talking about measles today. We're going to be talking about vaccinations in general. Vaccinations yeah, but right. measles, of course, is a hot topic right oh, now boy, because it? it's just really blown up as a disease again. And, yes. you know, most of us um, had measles or mumps or all those sure. things because we were before the vaccinations. But they those diseases had pretty much disappeared. And, and now because people have some concerns and doubts about vaccinations, less there have been some people that don't vaccinate. Right. And um, so... Which obviously is their decision. However, it's not a... It's not a... They have proven that, that all of these immunizations do not cause... Uh, uh, autism, autism and, 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 and other birth defects. Exactly. Or, or I should say birth defects, but uh, issues that, that right. you can have with your children. And some people even say they, that birth defects have been caused from them. And I think that it's really important because now we're seeing this, ep well, it's not an epidemic yet. Yet, but, but it's moving in that direction. Yes, and it's spreading from state to yeah. state to state. Yeah. And, and obviously they also said that, you know, um, uh, people that come into the country sometimes they're not immunized. They're not immunized, right? So we have so. a we have a, a problem. We're going back to square one. We're going back exactly. to the fifties again. Yeah, and we got so hysterical about people with Ebola coming into the country when yes. we really should be worrying about people with uh, tuber tuberculosis Rosis, or right. you know. So that's that's a whole other public health issue, and people out there might be asking, well, why is Lori Webb, the director of the senior center, talking about this? Um, it's true that I'm a nurse and a public and a home right. health nurse, but the reason we're talking about it today is that I, Nina Machado from First Five, and I are mentoring again three nursing students from the I Betty Irene Moore School of Nursing at UC Davis. Wonderful. This is the third year we've had nursing interns, and back in September when these three ladies picked their project before the measles epidemic, they said we're really interested in how people feel about vaccinations. And we're interested not only in, you know, the push to vaccinate, which mm -hmm. they as nurses feel is important, but why people persist in having these concerns and fears because it is their right to vaccinate their child or not at this right. point. And, and yet we feel like if they were educated about the um, dangers of someone having measles, mm -hmm. we just, there's this thing going on, measles parties, where people are, if their kid has the measles, they're inviting other kids over. Well, it's just going to take one of those kids to get encephalitis and get really sick to stop those measles. Well, Lori, parties. don't you feel that? I mean, there are people we all know that uh, Jenny McCarthy and other and and, and other um, well-known uh, movie stars mm -hmm. and, and mm -hmm. people in the public uh, mm -hmm. face that they've come out and they've said that you know that it, it, Jenny's son has autism mm -hmm. and she attributed to the vaccination. Mm -hmm. or, yeah, the but, MMR. Mom, right. Mm -hmm. And so the thing is, is that, but you haven't done the intense research over, we're talking decades, and um, you're not a, a medical doctor. That is your choice not to do that. However, there is a lot of cons against that. And, um, you know, if your child is very, very, just an infant and comes in contact with someone like that, that could just be, that, that could be could, devastating. That could, yes. A, an infant who can't be immunized up until, you know, they have to be a year old. Right. Then um, they're, they're very much at risk. So people also have to learn to practice good, you know, infection control. Don't take your baby to the ER unless you absolutely have right. to because there's a lot of germs there. Right. And also, so, and also it's airborne for, for exactly. quite a, for quite a while. Is, it's not like... That's how it spread so quickly you bet. at Disneyland. My sister works at Disneyland, and she said it was just amazing the level of fear that went up because wow. everybody was concerned about, you know, oh, that little kid in line sneezed on me, and I, you know, so. Sure. But the girls, what uh, what I'm here today pleading with your uh, watchership, your viewers, uh, is that uh, one of the things the girls want to do is collect historical stories about... Um, like a measles epidemic here, uh, or if, if they had measles. And we mm -hmm. have uh, five people that they're going to interview. One lady had measles, chicken pops, pox, and mumps oh, all my. within a year. <laughs> and oh she survived. Oh, my gosh. But, you know, the, they're interested in hearing what happened then and... Right. Contrasting it to what could, you know, could happen, what happen. now. So yeah. it's it's important that once you have a baby, you're in, you know, you're you're uh, you have a schedule where the doctor says you you should have these immunizations mm -hmm. th here and there and whatever. Yes, it is important. I think for people to vaccine. I think that some schools now 
are very seriously thinking about. I know when my grandkids went to school or my, my kids mm -hmm. went to school, they had to have their yeah. immunizations. And that's true here, too. But there's a thing called a personal belief exemption. Right. Absolutely. Or a PBE. Because there's religious. Uh, there are religious reasons and there are personal belief reasons. And, um, and particularly a lot of uh, people that are homeschooling their children. Right. But socializing them in sports and things, uh, they, they feel seems the percentage is stronger in that. Sure. So the nursing students are trying to look at the whole thing kind of objectively. Um, we certainly believe that vaccinations are important and the right. immunization coalition is very strongly uh, pushing for people right. to vaccinate. Um, I went and got my Tdap because I was going to go see my uh, granddaughter and I haven't had a, a tetanus booster, right. diphtheria, which I do. Which yeah. I do. Yeah. Would you come back and and update us on how everything's going in a in a couple of months or a couple of weeks? Sure. Or months? I, no? I, I'm hoping to bring one of the girls back. I think that would be great. We okay. have to take a short little break, and we'll be right back. Thank you.